Welcome to episode 23. Have you ever felt so stressed that you didn't know what to do? Scientists have found something interesting. Thinking about what matters most to you can actually help you feel better when times are tough. Some researchers at two big universities, Waterloo and Stanford, did something clever. They gave people special bracelets that said, remember the values and keychains where people could write down what mattered most to them. They told people to look at these items whenever they felt stressed. This simple reminder worked better than just writing about feelings once and forgetting about it. Let's talk about Miriam and Joe, a real couple who tried this. Joe was starting to forget things, and doctors thought he might have Alzheimer's disease, an illness that makes people lose their memory. This was really scary for both of them. They had dreamed of growing old together, and now everything seemed uncertain. But they decided to try something. They each picked values that were most important to them. Miriam chose patience. Joe chose to be honest and keep his sense of humor. These choices helped them in surprising ways. One day, Joe lost his phone and later found it in the refrigerator, a strange place for a phone. Instead of getting upset, he laughed about it and admitted he didn't remember putting it there because he chose to stick to his values, being honest and finding humor. It made a scary situation a little easier for both of them. Why this works so well. When bad things happen, we often can't control them, but we can control how we react. It's like having a flashlight in the dark. Your values help you see which way to go when things get tough. When Miriam and Joe couldn't stop what was happening with Joe's health, they could still choose how to handle it. Think about it this way. If you're stuck in traffic and getting angry, remembering that you value patience might help you take a deep breath instead of honking your horn. If you value kindness and someone is rude to you, you might choose to respond calmly instead of being rude back. You don't need fancy bracelets to use this idea. You could put a sticky note on your mirror, make it your phone's wallpaper, write it in your notebook, put a small reminder in your wallet, the important thing is to have something that reminds you of what matters most to you when stress hits. Some examples of values you might choose. Being kind to others. Staying calm under pressure. Being honest even when it's hard. Helping people who need it. Being brave when things are scary. Staying positive in tough times. Being patient with yourself and others. Standing up for what you believe in. How to use your values. Every day one. First, pick one or two values that really matter to you. Two, find a way to remind yourself about them, like those sticky notes we talked about. Three, when something stressful happens, look at your reminder. Four, ask yourself, how can my values help me handle this? For example, if you value kindness and you're having a bad day at work, you might still choose to be nice to others, even though you're stressed. This can actually make you feel better too. Life will always have stress. That's just how things are. But remembering what's important to you can make hard times easier to handle. It's like having a special tool in your pocket that you can use whenever things get tough. Remember Miriam and Joe? They couldn't make the Alzheimer's go away but focusing on their values helped them face each day with more strength. Their story shows us that even in the hardest times, our values can guide us and help us cope better. You can't always control what happens to you, but you can control how you respond. Your values are like a compass. They help you find your way when things get confusing or hard. Sometimes just remembering what matters most to you can turn a really bad moment into one you can handle. Next time you're feeling stressed, try to remember what matters most to you. It might not make the problem go away, but it can help you face it with more strength and wisdom. And sometimes, that's exactly what we need to get through tough times. <laughs>